What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of KC's Reef. Let's get it going. We're going to make us a 55-gallon reef tank. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing and bring you along for the ride. So for those of you that have been following up until this, uh, I had a failed attempt, but we're going to make it right and get things going. So I'm going to add in some corals first, make it a reef tank, add some anemones, and then we'll add some fish. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing every step of the way. Today, I'm going to cure some rock, get some Marine Pier live rock going, make sure it gets the bacteria load up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and do this, y'all. Let's go. All right, y'all. It's time to start a reef tank. So what's the first thing we need to do? Cure some live rock. That's right. So I've got all my live rock here in the trash can. It's going. I'm going to show you guys what I'm using and the reason that we need to cure the live rock before we even start the tank. So what I've got here is I've got regular old salt. It doesn't have to be nothing fancy. A hydrometer to make sure that we can measure the gravity and the salinity. And some live bacteria. And inside of the bucket, I've got two power heads and I've got a heater. You want to make sure you get the water up to temp before you start adding any of the salt or any of the uh, live bacteria because you don't want the live bacteria to freeze in the middle of the night. Now, the whole reason for curing is to make sure you get all the, the dead matter off of it, off of these live rock. As you can see, I've got a lot of green algae and stuff, so it may actually take about a week or so for the curing process to actually get all this stuff off. All right, guys, there she is. Let me go ahead and show you some of the things that I got going for her and ready to go so we can get this reef aquarium started, all right? So the overall size is a 55 gallon tank. I don't have a sump under here. Nice little battery back up in there. All the chemicals you'll need, we'll be going through that on another video. Inside, I've got my power head. You'll need one of these if you plan on having any type of algae eaters. Another power head. On the back, I've got the protein skimmer. This does up to 100 gallons. And some hang-on-the-back filters. Again, we'll be going through some of that as to why. The lights I'm using is the Marine Land 14K lights. They do very well. And what I have running here is very essential. I've got Marine Pure Live Rock Balls. So I've already got some bacteria going in there. I've got it, I've got it at 1.025 salt. Got a power head to make sure that the water's always moving. And that way, when I get my RODI set up and we get some water in here, they'll be ready to go and we'll have a filter going. All right, y'all. So, so far, that's about the most I have going. We wait for the RODI system to come in. I install it. That'll help me keep the alkaline down. It'll take out any of the chloramines and any of the bad stuff, the heavy metals that's in my water. That way we can have a healthy and clean reef tank. Most of this stuff is pretty essential to what you need to get it going. But everybody kind of does their own thing. I'm just showing you what I'm doing to make mine the way I want it. So for those of you that want to get going, it doesn't take much. Take you along for the ride. Thanks for watching KC's Reef. Let's get it going. Thank <laughs> you.